Hi guys, how you doing? Um, just as we promised in the last video, what we're going to look at now is one of the techniques that Silva gives us specifically in his manuscript that we can use against someone who is actively closing on us. He has a section dedicated to grips and closers and we're going to look at the most common and most popular one of those. Um, just like most of Silver stuff, if we're doing anything to do with closing, he likes us to work from True Guard Ant. So I'll be working from True Guard Ant. Lucy, who's going to be the agent, will be in open ward. And what's going to happen is she's going to step forwards with a downright below, and I'm going to be in True Guard Ant. So from that position, she's going to step in, I'm going to step forwards underneath, and I'm going to bring my arm up. Now, what you'll see here is that Lucy has cunningly attacked me in a very safe way. And remember what Silver tells us, that we can grapple when our opponent is actively closing on us. If they step forward, uh, that's not actively closing, so the grapples won't work. They'll only work if she's really trying to hit me. So you might be watching this video on YouTube. You might be watching it on You've Been Framed. Uh, <laughs> depends what happens next. So Lucy's going to step in, and she's going to put a nice downright blow in. I'm going to step forwards with a gather under my true guard ant, and that's going to allow me to gain the place for a grip. Perfect. So now at this point, again, we've stopped a little bit high. This is going to be a little bit lower in reality. I've blocked Lucy's sword here with mine, so this attack is being redirected off. If I do nothing else, and this is a committed attack, this will spin off and then I've got the option to counter. However, at this particular point, we're looking at a grip. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass our arm up and forwards, and we're going to roll it round, and we're going to put on a straight arm bar, hyperextending the elbow. As soon as we've taken control of that arm, we can use a pommel to the face. Now, this is a technique you'll see in a lot of manuscripts, in a lot of different systems. You'll see anything from English wrestling through to karate, through to medieval um, single hand sword, arming sword, a lot of the later systems. It's everywhere you look is this technique, this little serpentine S arm lock that hyperextends the arm. There are a couple of things you can do wrong with this, and we'll look at those. So the first thing that you can do wrong, and that you quite often see when people demonstrate this technique, is that when the cut comes in, they don't gather forwards particularly well. And as this comes down, they actually put the lock on the sword. Now, they're using, no, don't go away, don't go away. They're using blunt swords, so this is perfectly safe. And they can go, ha ha, I have disarmed you. And it looks very flashy, but it's actually bollocks, because Lucy's only got to move slightly in one of several directions, and I'm in big trouble. So come back, come back, come back. Right. The first thing is she steps back and pulls. I'm in trouble if that's sharp. The second thing that she can do is she can step forward and punch upwards. I'm in big trouble. So if you aren't wrapping the arm and you're wrapping the sword, you've done it wrong. Remember when Silver tells us we can grapple? when our opponent is moving slowly, or if they're actively pushing in on us. If they're not actively pushing in on us, we shouldn't be attempting this. If they're closing hard and fast, then we can get away with this. Right. Whatever you want. At that point, you've got the arm tied up. The pommel strike's probably the best bet. Headbutt them if you want. If you've got fencing masks on, that's as likely to hurt you as them. Now, one of the other things that can go wrong with this is that as you wrap the arm, You don't apply pressure early enough that allows your opponent to bend their arm. Okay? This is not an arm lock. This is me squeezing the hilt of her sword against my ribs. It doesn't actually put her in any discomfort at all. So when you do this, make sure that you make contact with this arm, you drive it over and hook around and push that up. And then you can slide that arm in, keeping this elbow extended all the way through. When you get the elbow extension, you know you've got it right. And the way you know you've got the elbow extension is that the person you're doing it to will come up on their toes slightly. And that means, yeah. <laughs> so that's the basic straight arm bar, serpentine arm lock with Silver's Elizabethan English backsword. 